Hello and welcome, I'm your Cut McKee. The Asset Sword is full of awesome tools and ads to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for January 26th. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid asset and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. By the way, the Unity Award sale on the Asset Sword is still ongoing. I believe this one is ending this week. We've got winners of awards from all kinds of years. There are tools, visuals, animations, really all kinds of things. My own Toolkit Asset won the Best Development Tool Award. This is a nice collection of tools and elements to help you make games better and faster. Over the next few months, I will be adding more and more tools as free updates to this toolkit, so check it out to the link in the description. Alright, so onto the top 10 list, starting off with a really awesome post-processing effect for drunk players. This is a really nice effect, it's all very blurry with like delayed vision. So if you want your character to seem drunk, then this is exactly what you want. It definitely is that perfect effect, definitely looks quite disorienting in the best way possible. This one instantly remind me of the excellent mission in Red Dead 2 where you basically get drunk with Lenny. That was a really fun mission, a lot of fun, so if you have something similar in your game then you can use this effect. Next up here are some cool shields. I've actually made a tutorial previously on how to make a shader effect kind of like this one if you want to learn, but if you just want to use it, if so then just go ahead download these free shields. They are all in different colors to represent whatever it is you want. And of course this can actually be applied to every mesh, not just shields. So you can have some kind of mesh like some kind of ghost and really just apply this. It's definitely a fun effect, so if this makes sense in your game, definitely pick it up. Then if you want to make a Sims-like game, here's a furniture pack. Just this one pack is enough to populate a really nice home. You've got beds, sofas, chairs, tables, really lots of stuff. And like I said, this is great if you're making some kind of Sims game. Or perhaps this is great if you're just experimenting with building some sort of building system. You can make something just like that, just for experience, just for fun. That is definitely a great system to build. Make something where you can place these objects, then also place objects on top of other objects. That is a relatively complex system that will definitely teach you quite a lot. Then something that still confuses me to this day are quaternions. Sometimes rotations can be quite tricky. So here we have a nice free tool to help make that a little bit easier. You just call a function and everything rotates exactly as intended. You can rotate towards a point, rotate linearly, rotate by angle, you can rotate by the mouse and a bunch more. So you've got lots of different rotation types, all of them done with a simple function call. So if you're working on a game with something like, let's say a spaceship that involves gravity or some weird rotations, if so then a tool like this can help. Then for something simple and fun, here is a skeleton mesh. Very simple, that's exactly what it is. So this could be your player in your game, or perhaps could be some kind of enemy, some kind of NPC, maybe something in some kind of Oblivion or Skyrim-like game. This is a realistic model, it does seem to have all the correct bones. So perhaps if you're making some kind of prototype and it's looking a little bit boring, maybe just make the player some kind of skeleton and all of a sudden it looks quite a bit more fun. Then here's an interesting simple project meant for learning ECS. This is an orbit simulation. So you've got various planets, each with their own orbits. Then those planets, they also have moons. And again, those also have their own orbits. And all of it is being nicely simulated using ECS. So this can be a great learning project. Personally, I have my own complete dots course. So if you want, you can go through that. And afterwards, if you want to see it applied to a project, if so, then this looks like a fun sample. There's even a GitHub if you want to just inspect the source code. Next here, we have a nice set of low poly weapons from World War I. These are some pretty nice models, all with a few scopes and attachments. So this would be great, obviously, for some sort of World War I game. Or really just great as another practice project. Maybe you can make some kind of weapon attachment system. I actually covered the tutorial on how to make one of those previously. So if you want, you can follow that tutorial using these meshes to make it really nice. Or perhaps if you're more into medieval stuff. If so, here is an RPG dungeon kit. This is a full kit with tons of parts. Basically everything you need to build all kinds of nice dungeons and castles. It even includes shields and swords, so yep, this would be perfect for any sort of RPG prototype. I can instantly imagine making my own sort of oblivion, making some nice dungeons with some nice combat with this pack. Yep, if you want something to do this weekend, maybe build a prototype just like that. Then for another simple mesh, here we have a 1970s family sedan. It's a really nice model, it is simple and effective, all of the parts are nicely separated. So immediately I think this would be great to build a prototype of one of those car simulator type games. Those games like My Summer Car, where the car is very tactile, you can move everything. With a simple model, you can open doors and really just go inside and play with the interior. Or for another tool, here we have a cube maps wizard. This one is just like the name implies, it's a wizard to help you generate some cube maps. So you define your scene in Unity, then you use this to create a cube map from that scene, and then for example, use that for some kind of skybox, or maybe use it as some reflection probes out. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for January 26th. There's links to all in the description, and also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. 
Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.